Hey, it's Dave Wyman, another installment of Football 101. Seahawks coming off a huge win against Minnesota, 37 to 30. Uh, it's kind of interesting though, you look back on some of the things that happened in this game and some of them are self-inflicted and some of them were just bad luck. But uh, the Seahawks gave up 21 points in what I call kind of fluky type of, uh, of plays. And the first one was the first drive there was three missed tackles. K.J. Wright on C.J. Ham uh, missed a, a tackle that went for like an extra 37 yards. Uh, Jay Reed uh, had a, a tackle where it leaked forward a little bit for four or five yards. And then uh, Quandre Diggs also had one that I think went for 22 yards. So I counted 64 extra yards on that one drive. And those were just, you know, very fundamental mistakes. Nothing about scheme or anything. They were in the right defense. Just guys missing tackles and uh, and not making plays and that happens sometimes in the NFL you know they they make high school football type of mistakes and that that happens at every level um, then so that was the one drive there was three missed tackles there the fluke pick six by by Russell I mean that could have easily just fallen where nobody was standing around and ends up picking it off and uh, you know Russell was trying to spike the ball down somebody said you know you should catch that ball absolutely not can't catch that ball you've got to try to spike it down and just didn't get it and one of the things he jumped and I think somebody ran into him and he couldn't get the height <laughs> that he wanted to get up in the air so that was a, a bad deal and then there's the blown coverage and you know my policy here is we don't point fingers you never know what uh, who you know messed up or screwed up but here's what it looked like to me and this is the formation and so a receiver ends up coming loose late right here but what it looked like to me is and we've kind of gone through this cover three cover two it looked like this side was playing cover three and the reason why you can tell that is the free safety kind of bails for the middle of the field the corner bails back and then you know the other corner you would think would bail back here and you'd have three deep and four underneath because they're they're bringing just four here with the d lineman but it looked like on this side they played cover two so Playing cover three over here, backers get good drops, no problem here. Same thing with the backer here, he gets a good drop. But then what happens is the corner lets this guy go thinking, okay, there's gonna be somebody over the top here. Well, what happened was the strong safety actually you know, started to drop and then jumped a tight end up here. And you know, the corner lets him go, so he's just wide open. So just uh, you know, three big mistakes right there that led to to 21 points and look that was uh, you know some of it was you know their own doing I mean you can't miss tackles you can't blow coverages but the one with Russ certainly was uh, you know was just kind of a fluky play the thing this is my favorite play from this game and it involves Quandre Diggs and and KJ Wright and those are two of the guys that missed tackles in the first drive that happened I told somebody I would have missed that tackle too that KJ missed so that guy was a big boy but um, this play was pretty simple. They're bringing pressure here. Cody Barton was in the game and they were just playing a little zone underneath and it looked like kind of a matchup zone because they were playing pretty close to the receiver. But KJ Wright gets a drop here and they throw it to Irv Smith Jr., the tight end over here in the flat. And KJ comes up and he just kind of, you get those long arms and legs and it looked like a cat that had a mouse cornered. And there was just nowhere that for the tight end to go. In the meantime, and he wasn't even in the in the uh, in the frame as you look at on TV. Uh, Quandre Diggs, he was about 17 yards deep, and this is where he's been compared to Earl Thomas a little bit. And the reason why I, I bring that up is because there's lots of times with Earl where I'd have to run the tape back to see where did he come from. Well, Quandre Diggs was about 17 yard deep, yards deep, and so as KJ is kind of corralling Irv Smith Jr. here, uh, Quandre Diggs comes up here just flying up here and he ends up just smoking the tight end I mean it was a huge collision right there and he used his shoulder didn't use his head it was really a nice hit and so those two guys redeemed themselves for their missed tackle uh, early on and I thought the most important thing is what happened here the offensive line did it they punched Minnesota in the mouth they they beat they they ran for 218 yards on and off uh, against a front seven that's really good so offensive line I thought was really physical and then on defense there were some big hits so that's always a good sign I think that's the one thing that's been missing it's kind of funny if you watch the uh, the TV copy 
right before this play, a fan in the end zone is holding up a sign that says boom, you know, Legion of Boom, and that's because they used to hit people and that's kind of been missing. And on that very play, Quandre Diggs comes up, smokes the tight end, and I felt like that kind of set the tone for this entire game.